Well, hello everyone. How are you doing? Everybody doing okay? That's okay. You find it rude with my sunglasses on? With my sunglasses on? No, I can take them off if you want me to. I just thought you might like it better if I had the sunglasses on. I can take them off. Are you ready for you? Yeah, now I can see. All right. Now everything's in focus. It was in focus before, but I can see much brighter, much more clearly. So what do we want to do today, huh? Thought based on my last video that I would present to you some scriptures. This is about how Jehovah our God can reconsider his own decision. Yes, he can reconsider his own decision. So, it's not like he's very strict or anything. It's not like he's very, I don't know, overbearing is the word. Not like he's very violent, not like he's very uh, overly punishing. I mean, he does have his place when he does punish, but Jehovah can reconsider his own decision. Okay, so we're going to look at some scriptures to talk about that. I'm just going to give some scriptural citations, no scriptural quotations for this part. So if you want to get a pen and paper ready, or maybe a pencil and paper ready, it is Exodus 32, verse 12. That's chapter 32, verse 12. Jeremiah, chapter 18, verses 7 and 8. 7 and 8. Nahum, verses 1. Excuse me, chapter 1, verse 7. Nahum, chapter 1. Verse 7. Jonah chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. Jonah chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3. That's chapter 2, verse 3. Okay. I'll we'll put that away for right now. So I was thinking about reading a passage from Daniel chapter 10, very faith strengthening, gives a recharge and reinvigorates. Let me see if you find that. I'd like to read to you that whole chapter for that one, part of the autonomous sensory variety and response, if you care to hear my voice. Chapter 10. That's page 1222 through 1223. It says In the third year of King Cyrus of Persia, a revelation was given to Daniel, who was called by the name Belteshazzar. And the message was true, and it was about a great conflict. And he understood the message and was given understanding about what he had seen. In those days, I, Daniel, had been mourning for three full weeks. I ate no rich food and ate no meat or wine. No meat or wine entered my mouth. And I did not put any oil on myself for three full weeks. On the 24th day of the first month, while I was on the bank of the great river, the Tigris, I looked up and I saw a man clothed in linen, and around his waist was a belt of gold from the Euphaeus. His body was like chrysolite, his face had the appearance of lightning, his eyes were like fiery torches, his arms and feet looked like burnished copper. 
and the sound of his words was like the sound of a multitude. Only I, Daniel, saw the vision. The men with me did not see the vision. However, a great trembling soothed them, and they ran away and hid. Then I was left by myself, and when I saw the great vision, there was no power left in me, and my dignified appearance left me, and I lost all strength. Then I heard the sound of him speaking, but when I heard him speaking, I fell fast asleep with my face to the ground. But then a hand touched me, and it stirred me to get up on my hands and knees. Then he said to me, O oh, Daniel, you very precious man, give attention to the words that I am about to speak to you. Now stand up in your place, for I have been sent to you. When he said this to me, I stood up, trembling. He then said to me, Do not be afraid. O oh, Daniel, your words have been heard from the first day that you gave your heart to understanding and to humbling yourself before your God and I have come because of your words. But the prince of the royal realm of Persia stood in opposition to me for 21 days. But then Michael, one of the foremost princes, came to me, came to help me, and I remained there beside the kings of Persia. I have come to make you understand what will befall your people in the final part of the days, because it is a vision yet for the days to come. Now when he spoke these words to me, I turned my face to the ground and became speechless. Then one who looked like a man touched my lips, and I opened my mouth and said to the one who stood in front of me, My Lord, I am shuddering because of the vision, and I have no strength. So how can my Lord's servant speak with my Lord? For now I have no strength, and there is no breath left in me. The one who looked like a man touched me again and strengthened me. Then he said, Do not be afraid, O very precious man. May you have peace. Be strong. Yes, be strong. As he spoke with me, I was strengthened, and I said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. Then he said, Do you know why I have come to you? Now I will go back to fight with the prince of Persia. When I leave, the prince of Greece will come. However, I will tell you the things recorded in the writings of truth. There is no one strongly supporting me in these things but Michael, your prince. All right. How do you like that? I don't know if I'm too much like a Bob Ross kind of figure from anything. However, I thought I'd try to give you a pleasurable reading, try to bring history back to life as it is a piece of recorded history in the Bible. We wouldn't have otherwise known what happened about two or three thousand years ago if it wasn't for God's word, the Bible, which is also a manual on life. So, something to think about, right? Yeah, so you had a fight, you had a struggle there, it was weakened for about 21 days, the equivalent of three weeks. That was about demon wrestling with a good angel for about three weeks. When Daniel finally regained his strength, that's when the fight was over. That's when the angel went over that demon. It's also about a prophecy happening, prophecy of the coming world power yet to happen. Probably about 400 years in advance. No human could do that. Humans can predict, but not hundreds or thousands of years in advance like Jehovah can. Well, I don't mean to put a sneer on your face or anything, but we must take refuge in our Lord and our God, our Savior. We must take strength and confidence, put strength and confidence in our Lord, God, and Savior, so that we can regain our strength, regain our stability, regain our bearings. True. All right. Well, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great morning. See you. Thank you.